Hi, welcome to Pi Simple GUI 2020 Lesson Zero for Impatient People. Pi Simple GUI is a framework that is different than the other GUI frameworks in that it uses message passing instead of being event driven. That means there's no callbacks. One important location for you to know is pisimplegui.org. That is where you will find the documentation. There are five sections to your typical Pi Simple GUI program. I recommend using the naming conventions that you'll see here. First thing, first section is a, the import. The second section is what's called the layout. And layouts are lists of lists. We are going to be recreating this window that's shown here. The layout is a series of rows. So each row of your GUI will be a list. In this case, we have three rows. and on a, each row are elements, and elements are the same as widgets. So the first one is called a text element, and it says enter something. The next one is an input, and we're going to use a parameter called a key, and that's just like a dictionary key. Uh, it used, it's used to identify the element uh, later on you can think of it like its name um, but it, it's it's like a diction it will be used as a dictionary key as you'll see the second row here of our layout also is a text element and it says our output will go here um, and the third row is got two buttons on it and one says okay and the other one says exit Buttons have uh, keys, just like other elements that uh, that generate events and uh, or or that you want to read. And for buttons, the key defaults to the text that's on the button. So this button will have a key that's OK. This one will have a key that says exit. That is section two. The third section is where we will create the window. And that's a simple window object. It's got the title as the first parameter. Second parameter is the layout. The fourth section is uh, your event loop. And event loops normally are within the GUI framework. With PySimple GUI, it's within your code. And inside of your event loop, you will uh, read your window and you when you read a window it waits until something happens to your window an event and an event can be something like a, a button gets clicked or the window gets closed so if we want to test and see if the window is closed the event that's returned is none and in this case we also want to see if they click the exit button if so, the event will be exit, and we want to break out of our event loop if that happens. Now, what this, this program that we're writing does is whenever you input something here and click OK, then it will output it to this location. Uh, we, we don't need to check for the OK button because that's the only thing that could be executed at this point. We need to put a key on this text element if we want to identify it for output. So let's put a key on here. Since we want now we want to output to it. So we look up the element and you do that like a dictionary lookup using your window object. So you put the key inside there that generate or gives us that element. To change an element you call its update method. Every element has a slightly different update method. The first parameter is generally the value that you want to change it to. Uh, you'll, you'll just want to take a look at the documentation to see what all the different parameters are for each element. And in this case for a text element it is the value. We said that we want to update it with the value that is input. So the, the way we find the value that it's input is we use the values variable and it is a dictionary and the key that will be used to for this input is dash n and that is it for our event loop and the final thing we want to do is close the window let's run this program and enter something into this 
little section here, right? And when we do, it changes it to this value. If we hit exit, then it's going to break out of the loop and close the window. Thank you for watching.